Good luck, short stack. It's all up to you. No pressure. Fuck a dagger! Hope this works. I'm gonna start with the most important question up front, and I've been Which waiting. Is why now. did Ben Affleck steal our Dunkin' Donuts campaign? It's really funny that I'm going with Dunkin' Donuts as my first question. <laughs> I love that you did that. So as a fellow New Englander and someone who tried to get Dunkin' Donuts in L.A. before they came back, how mad were you to not be in Dunkin's, especially after casting Matt Damon? Look, I don't know what it, I have to do to get into the Dunkin's, but I feel like I've done just about everything I can, and it's not working. So why don't you call them for me? I think you have more juice than I do. I don't think that's true, but... I, I listen. It's uh, it's funny though. Um, I this is not this is so random. I did an interview once with Affleck, and I talked to him about Dunkin' Donuts, and it got picked up for years uh, because, and and it, I really believe because it kept on getting picked up that that led to him getting that uh, commercial. Of course, it no did. joke. Of course, it did. You know. So yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what we fucked it up anyway. Um, so I, cause we were talking about Duncan Donuts too. Anyway, so uh, I'm curious. So you came up with this movie for you, you as a result of your kids, you know, you were inspired by them. So were you more nervous to show the film for the first time to the studio or your children? The studio I've already shown, my kids haven't seen it yet. They're seeing it either tonight or tomorrow. And it's going to be without a doubt, the scared, most scared I've ever been to show anyone anything in my life ever. So studio, uh, or otherwise, the, the the kids are the one that I'm most looking forward to their review. Yeah, I, I can't imagine because they obviously have not seen A Quiet Place or, or some of the other things you've done. Imagine if I said they have. They're like, no, 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 they do. They know that. And they have lots of notes on that. So, um, no, exactly. I, I, I genuinely, I've been joking about it, but I don't know what they thought I did because Emily certainly got a head start in our house with Mary Poppins and Jungle Cruise. So they definitely knew what she did. And then I think they thought I was an accountant or something. And this was really exciting to bring them in from the very beginning. So I pitched them the idea, the terrible drawings, I'm a terrible artist, but the terrible drawings I was doing, I would show them and they would get involved. And so they were, they were involved all the way up through the trailer, actually. My oldest daughter, when the second trailer came out, I showed it to her uh, before it came out. And she said, um, it's really good. And I said, is there something you wanna add? And she said, yeah, I just really missed that line we have to help them. And Ryan says, yes, we do. And I went, what? And she was like, I don't know. It's just so emotional. You should put that back in. And I did. First of all, that's amazing. Um, but I am curious when you finish the movie, you obviously show it to friends and family or somebody who gave you the best notes that you incorporated into the movie um, at, from an early screening. Certainly there's a, there's a close group of people that I trust deeply, but no one as much as obviously my family, but outside of my family, my producing partner, Allison, is the person I trust most. And I think that the advice she gave me, or I should say the take she had in the beginning was to let the movie be what it wants to be, which is this you know emotional movie. It's not just for kids, it's not for adults, it's sort of in the middle, which is a scary place to be because you can miss twice. And I think that the confidence to move forward is always nice when you have someone, um, you know, that has your back and which is kind of what the whole movie's about. What is it like for you? Because we spoke many years ago at Sundance. My for God, your first, Sundance, that's right. For your first film. And at that time you were just trying to like make a movie, your career is still in its early days. What is it like now for you knowing that you are able to make like a big Hollywood movie. And if you want to make another one, people are going to want to work with you. You know what's so funny you say that is um, there's something about Sundance that has always been so special to me. And there, there are a few points in my career that I always look back and feel like it represents the entirety of my career, Sundance being one of them. There's something about that coming out of the gates with something that is so uh, close to your heart and true to yourself that you hope that you can maintain that. So now that I'm doing bigger movies, I, I gotta say, I try never to look at them as that. I try to look at this, I mean, this is a huge movie now, but when I came up with the idea, it was just a crazy, ambitious idea that if I didn't execute it well in the script, I wouldn't have been able to get a good enough actress like Kaylee Fleming. You know, there's so many of these parts that you just have to go into it, almost like every movie's a Sundance movie. Obviously, I'm a fan of your work. I'm a fan of both you as an actor and as a director. So Thank you. what is it like trying to figure out like taking on, like do you have an interest in taking on another TV role that could take you for years? Are you writing more scripts with the plan of directing? Like what, what are you thinking about? Oh, that's a great question. I mean, the truth is, and I think we talked about this in our first interview is I try not to premeditate too much because there's something so organic about what inspires you and what comes next. Um, right now I'm shooting a Guy Ritchie movie 
as just an actor, and that is like a dream come true. I've been the biggest Guy Ritchie fan forever, so if you would ask me back at Sundance if I would ever work with Guy Ritchie, I would have told you no way. So I just leave the door open and hopefully a little magic has room to come in and, and give me an idea. Are you writing something now? I'm not right now. I'm talking to you, but I mean... <laughs> No, I, uh, I'm not writing anything right now. This, this has been, we only just finished this movie so recently that it's, it's crazy that it's even coming out. It's still sort of surreal. I gotta go. I'm just gonna say, I hope you find the fountain of youth and yes. um, in, enjoy the, uh, you know, uh, you know, and uh, enjoy <laughs> the speed dating. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Have a good one.